All right, so lately I've been having a lot of problems with parts like these that have long, thin shafts. These are so brittle, they snap off with not even a tinge of force applied. You can see inside how the shafts are hollow, and I believe this is what's causing them to be so brittle. Even the big ones there snapped off without any force applied. With a part like this, you could make everything 100% uh, infill, but the problem is when you go with a thick base like this, if you do that, it'll take ages to print and waste a lot of material. Thankfully, there is one easy trick to fix that if you're using Fusion 360 and Slicer. Now, I'm just going to make a little example box with a thin shaft on top. So here we have a box that's 20 by 20 by 10. And let's just put our shaft on top. Doesn't really matter where. This one's going to be 5 millimeters in diameter and 20 millimeters tall. By default, the parts will then be joined, which is perfectly normal in most use cases. Into the slicer now, if you use the default settings, you'll see that the shaft there is quite hollow in the middle, and that's responsible for a large part of our brittleness. Now, if you set the fill density to 100%, then the problem will be that while the shaft is all right, that uh, cube there at the base will be completely filled up, which is a huge waste of material and print time. Now, if you wanted to apply different fill settings for both of these parts, what most tutorials would recommend is adding a, a modifier in the form of another part on top that would isolate the shaft, but it's a bit uh, annoying to do that. There's a much easier way. Back in Fusion 360, we want to, instead of joining these two parts here, simply create a new body. Now, both the shaft and the box are separate bodies, and exporting them to the slicer, all we need to do is go back into settings and click split. This will give us actually two different bodies, and then you just need to select the one with a shaft and apply the infill settings you want. Here we're just going to set the density to 100% and change the pattern from the standard grid to concentric, which will give us uh, a circular infill that will make the part a bit stronger. Now, when you click slice, you'll see in the preview that the shaft is completely filled up and then the box only has that 20% uh, infill. You can even set the infill density to 0% for the box. In most cases, unless you're directly compressing that box, it'll be perfectly fine. I've gone ahead and printed a part using this technique, and you can see I have to apply a lot, a lot of force to get that shaft to snap off. And then finally, if you look inside there, it's perfectly filled up, which gave us a lot more resistance. That's it for this tip. I'll see you next time.